Hello, Miami. This is 305 Sports Style, your home podcast and channel for all things Miami sports related. I am Will. The Dolphins are in the playoffs, right? The Dolphins make the postseason, not since 2016. Uh, Adam Gase's first year, who ended up not being the most popular coach in the city. But nonetheless, the Dolphins, uh, I do believe, are going in the right direction under Mike McDaniel. And they make the postseason, and they will be playing the Buffalo Bills sometime next week. Skyler Thompson comes in for both the injured Tua Tagaviola and Teddy Bridgewater, and he's basically a game manager, okay? Don't make any mistakes, okay? Don't screw it up. And he did not. Uh, 20 of 31, 152. The running game was also very helpful with uh, both Raheem Moser and um, Jeff Wilson both carrying the load. Uh, 32 carries, 162 yards rushing. Averaging were five yards per carry uh, during the game. Okay. Um, now, that that's a good carry. The Jets' defense is very good. A little suspect with, with the run defense, all right, a little bit, but they do have some very good players on defense. All right, guys like Quinn Alexander and 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 um, Sauce Gardner and stuff like that. So, so nonetheless, a very a, a very good a very good victory for the Dolphins. I don't care how you get in, man. I really don't care if you back your way in. If you went ugly, a win is a win. Okay, it doesn't matter if you win pretty. It doesn't matter if you win pretty or win ugly. A win's a win. Okay, I'd rather win ugly than lose pretty. That's what I'm trying to say. Now we do need Tua, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Tua's gonna play. You know, next week if you if the Dolphins want any chance to win. Next week's game in Buffalo in very cold weather. They need to, uh, well, that, whether you like them or not, the Dolphins won eight games because of Tua Viola. It was up to a point that people felt they might take the division from the Bills. And not only that, also we might see Tua as MVP, all right, just because the season he was having within the eight games that he played prior to the four-game losing streak. Uh, for the season, Tua finished you know, playing 13 games. Uh, over 64% completion rate, 25 touchdowns, eight interceptions, three of those coming against the Green Bay Packers. Now, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle had career years under Tua Tagovailoa. All right, they both played all 17 games. Uh, Tyreek ended the season with 119 receptions, 1,710 yards, record breaking for him, seven touchdowns. Waddle ended the season with 75 catches, 1,356 yards. And eight uh and eight touchdowns for the second year player out of Alabama. All right. So what's the playoff scenario? It's gonna be very tough to win in Buffalo. Okay, but the Miami Dolphins proved that uh they could play now in cold weather. Tua could throw the ball up in cold weather. But the key thing for the Dolphins will be number one, stopping Josh Allen, which is very hard because Josh Allen seems to be weatherproof, and the Bills played very well against the Patriots today. Um but it's going to have to be that run game, right? I don't know what's going on with Moser. Moser, I believe, injured his thumb uh, sometime in late third, early fourth quarter. Hopefully he could play because he was a flat-out beast right over there in Buffalo last time the Dolphins played. They were pretty much a uh, big boy, the Buffalo Bills. They should have kept running the football, and that's what I think Mike McDaniel is going to have to do, especially with Tua coming back, if he does come back, you know, because due to his injuries in, in particular. Tua last time as well was very effective, okay? 17 of 30, a couple drops in the game as well. By, one by, uh, I believe it was, it was Sherfield, yeah, Trent Sherfield and Tariq Hill in um in the red zone. 17 of 30, 234, two touchdowns, very important, no interceptions. And again, Moser had 136 yards rushing in the game. So the bottom line is that the Miami Dolphins are going to have to play their best football this uh, next upcoming weekend against Buffalo. I do believe the Dolphins, if Tua's healthy, all right, and Tua is efficient, could win that football game. But again, it all comes down to the running game. Why is the running game so important? The running game will keep Josh Allen off the field, eats clock, controls time of possession, beats up, beat him up in the trenches, okay? And that's what it's going to take uh, for the Miami Dolphins to win that game. Now, Buffalo is, is no spring chicken, man. They have been in the playoffs, and they're veterans, and Josh Allen, you know, has won some big games, right, as well. So we'll see what happens. But uh, but the bottom line is the Dolphins are probably gonna obviously they're gonna be a road underdog against the Bill against the Bills. The Dolphin defense does not um play well on the road. They did against Buffalo, except in the end when Buffalo uh won the game because the defense couldn't get the stops and Tua was not able to mount a comeback because he could not get back on the field. So the Dolphin defense is gonna have to get off the field. The running game is gonna have to blossom the way it did in the previous game against the Bills. 
you know, and Tua, if Tua plays, the Dolphins do have a shot. You may not like Tua, all right? The offseason, we'll see what the front office does in regards to Tua, the signing of Christian Wilkins. But the bottom line is, Tua Tagovailoa gives you the best chance to win, all right, bar none. It is a major drop-off, as we've noticed these few weeks and throughout the season, when it's Teddy Bridgewater or Skylar Thompson. I'm sorry. It's a major, major drop off. Tua understands the offense and the offense clicks better with Tua at the helm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you heard, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to 305 Sports Now. Once again, I am Will. Stay safe. God bless. See you soon. Go Fins.